I use Velcro rollers. I make sure that after my hair is heated, whether I'm heating it up with a blow dryer or I'm heating it up with a flat iron, a curling a wand, whatever it may be, I make sure to really get it in there and then I continue to add tension. Hey guys, I'm Jackie and I lead the content team at hair.com and today we are going to be talking about Velcro and hot rollers and how you can use these now viral styling tools in your routine to achieve a bouncy bombshell blowout at home. So the biggest difference in whether or not to use a hot roller or a Velcro roller is thinking about what do you want your end result to be. When you use a hot roller, you're gonna get a very similar result as you would get with a curling wand or a curling iron. And if you use a Velcro roller, you're gonna get a very similar result as you would get if you were sitting in the chair at the salon and your hairdresser had that nice big boar bristle brush that's going to give you all that lift and all that volume at the root. Let's start with hot rollers. Ideal for getting that smooth, shiny finish that you would get with a curling iron or a curling wand. Hot rollers are great for achieving big, voluminous curls that will last until your next wash day. So depending on the size of each roller and how you curl your hair around it, it will completely change your end result. So it's not just like a one size fits all. The bigger the roller, the looser the curl. Now for me, when I want to achieve a bombshell salon worthy blowout from home, I use a mix of one and one and a half inch rollers all around my head, always curling away from my face. The idea here is with a hot roller, you want to curl up and away. So you want to almost mimic that movement that a stylist would give you when they're using the big round brush, lifting up and away, because when you set the rollers in place, you want them to cool down and you want that lift that will last you. Okay, let's talk about Velcro rollers. You can barely scroll through your TikTok feed or your IG Reels feed right now without seeing these, and that is because they are such a fantastic styling tool, specifically when you want to add volume and lift. Depending on the size of the roller, it will change the end look. So again, just like with hot rollers, the bigger the roller, the looser the curl. I like to use two and a half inch rollers and one and three quarter inch rollers. And that is because when I am looking to use them, I want to mimic that salon blowout. I want that big voluminous, bombshell look that I get when I go to the salon and my hairdresser blows out my hair. The key though with Velcro rollers and even with hot rollers is the diameter of the product that you're using because again, the bigger the roller, the looser the curl and the tension that you use when you put them in. When I use Velcro rollers, I make sure that after my hair is heated, whether I'm heating it up with a blow dryer or I'm heating it up with a flat iron, a curling a wand, whatever it may be, I make sure to really get it in there and that I continue to add tension as I roll it up and put it in the place that it's going to set and cool. But the tension not only is going to make sure that that heated up section of hair is set in the place that you want it to be set in and it's going to really hold that end result better. The tension is also going to help you when you have a full head of rollers and you don't want them moving around. So the truth is with Velcro rollers, you can really use them after you blow dry to set any sort of bend you do with the brush, any curl that you're gonna do with the brush, but I'm really not the best at blow drying my hair. And so I rely on rollers in order to get that bouncy, fresh from the salon blowout bomb kind of look. So what I do after I straighten my hair with my blow dryer, I go back in with my steam pod, I heat back up that strand, I add the bend that I really want to see, and I secure it with the Velcro roller. I let it cool, and when I take it out, I get a nice, voluminous, bouncy, like 90s blowout that I really, really love. So a couple things to note, if I had more layers around my face, it would be even bouncier. Velcro rollers are so ideal for curtain bangs. They really help to give you that swoop that you want to see and they're excellent if you have face framing layers. All right, so there you have it. A nice voluminous bombshell 90s era blowout thanks to Velcro rollers. We are going to style my hair using hot rollers. And one of the things that I absolutely love about hot rollers, in addition to the fact that you get a nice smooth style, is the fact that I can put them in my hair, set my style, and while it cools, I can go about my morning. So I can get breakfast, have a cup of coffee, get my daughter ready in the morning, which is a feat in itself. But anyway, let's get going. The only things I'm gonna really need is a little bit of a texturizing spray. I like Redken Triple Dry. So I just sort of spray that all over and then I just sort of 
comb out and smooth any sections that I'm gonna curl. I like my curls always to be away from the face. So how I curl, whether it's with a curling iron, a curling wand, hot rollers, Velcro rollers, doesn't matter. I always go away from my face. And that's what we're gonna do here. The other thing to keep in mind is you wanna make sure that you are not putting too much hair in the roller. Otherwise, it's just not gonna hold that curl and it's gonna fall flat. So even this for the one and a quarter inch rollers that I have is a little too much. So I'm actually going to take a bit less. I'm going to take this part and I'm just going to get like what would be my fringe. So curl back and away from the face and then you'll take the clip and clip it in place. I start at the top because the look that I want with this is high volume. I really want to make sure that my crown is the section of hair that's staying in the longest. Okay, so now one more section and we'll have the entire crown sort of completed. And one of the important tips is to make sure that before you do each section, just smooth out any knots. It'll help when you're taking these out at the end and make that a little bit of an easier process. So you just really do this entire step until your entire head of hair is completed and then you let it cool. So I am at the bottom section now. And one of the things I really like about hot rollers is that you don't have to be too perfect when you put them in. You really can just place them and be done. The goal here, for me at least when I use hot rollers, is not a perfectly polished, ready to go to a big event type style. For me, it really is just the idea that I can style my hair and then go about my morning, but I still have a very like polished, done, and very voluminous look when I'm done. And that's where I find the benefit. Okay, they're all in. I've curled my entire head. Now I'm going to wait 10, 15 minutes, and then I will take them out, comb them out, spray, and set. After I've brushed it out, I put everything where I want it to be. I hit it with a little hairspray. And that's that. It's a nice, voluminous, bouncy style. And I'm ready to go about my day. So there you have it. Velcro rollers and hot rollers to achieve a bouncy blowout from home. Let us know what you thought and let us know what styles you want to see next in the comments.